I, I, I was just reading through Genesis. Uh, did you look at 20, 21 through 25? Was that Genesis what? Chapter 1, 25. 25. 21? It says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. She could not have kids. Mm -hmm. And the Lord was entreated of her, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. She became pregnant. Mm -hmm. okay? And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. When it says she went to inquire of the Lord, she went to inquire of the men of God, the mm -hmm. prophets. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations. He saw in, he saw in Jacob. That's right. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other mm -hmm. people. And you know who that is. Um, I believe that was Esau because then Jacob come back and... and, and, um, and the Bible and, says that and, and the two, older. the nations in your womb and men of people shall be separated from that body and one shall be strong. Oh, the, the elders should serve the younger. Okay, yeah, I had Who is the strongest out of the black man and the white man? Who do everything the best? Um, I mean, honestly, like, it's... it's, it's I, I, don't, I don't believe one race is superior against another. You know the what I'm Bible saying? The Bible says it is. Where, where does it say that? Deuteronomy 76. But I'm going to do this. Because it's a, And the Lord said unto two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separated from thy Bible. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. That's Esau. Mm -hmm. going to serve Jacob. Mm -hmm. Because Jacob pulled on Esau's heel. Okay. Right? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. I've heard, I've heard people say that uh, there were white people because um, because white people when they get uh, riled up they get red. You see, this is what's happening. And after that came his brother out, and see they didn't just give them a description of his brother because his brother was already here, like the rest of the so-called black people. Esau was the first time he came into existence. It was the existence when he came out his mother's womb. See what I'm saying? And then you know, it lets you know who God loved and who God hates. You know what that's that? Like? Yeah, I know God uh, God hates the um the, the, the unrighteous Romans when they the unrighteousness of so, uh, the God that was poured down from heaven to the unrighteous that's a piece of the truth. This was God hates. This is people God hates. Just, we just read the Bible, right? We look at Romans 9, 13. Okay, we're going to finish. This is called a precept. We're going to look at Romans 9 and 11. But the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that <clears throat> the purpose of God according to the election might stand not of works, but of him that called it. It is said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You hate Esau. See what I'm saying, my brother? God only came for us, man, in the book. But what if that's but, 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 but what if that's saying he just hated Esau in that in that not just not, not his own descendants? You know I'm hating all, all over, man. I can find you in the book of Obadiah. I can go to the book of Hebrews and I can show you about How many how many times have you read the Bible? Because I know you guys really study a lot. <laughs> I, I just got, cause I just got to finish reading it like for, get, for the first time uh, like a month ago. Yeah, I get with the brothers, man. And we, what we do, we go through the whole Bible and then we stop and then we start defining the precepts mm -hmm. because that's how you learn. Cause the Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty nine and verse what nine and ten, do thy precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, mm -hmm. here a little, there a little, a little bit from the old and a little bit from the new. But if you want to learn as far as the Historical aspect of it. You read chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, right, chapter right. four. Yeah, I read it. I read it from beginning yeah. to end. Yeah, if you want the historical aspect, but if you want to be for as far as the teaching mm -hmm. and the enlightenment, mm -hmm. then you do the do the precepts because that's what that just showed you a precept. But now, uh, God loved everybody. He just showed you that you don't. Yeah. Who is the? How many gates is it to the kingdom? Well, one narrow gate. Hmm? 
it, it, it's, it's one narrow gate to well, it's one narrow gate to the kingdom. Yeah, Jesus said the uh, the, the um, narrow is the gate that leads to life, and, and few find it. But I tell you, and many go to the white gate. I tell you that there is more than one gate. It's twelve gates. Oh, 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 yeah. So, but isn't that talking about um, in New Jerusalem where it's going to show the twelve tribe, Jacob, Reuben, all that? That's and, how that's. That's going to be when the New Jerusalem uh -huh. is born. Mm -hmm. Twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Right. You've heard of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. It was twelve tribes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only people, brother, that's gonna be able to get to the kingdom. Ain't nobody else get there. So you don't think? So, no. you, so you don't think white people get to heaven? No, sir. They, you okay. know what? This is what's gonna happen. For them. Uh -huh. They're gonna be in the kingdom. You said, um, I, I know what you guys believe. You guys believe they're gonna serve us. That's what the Bible says. Not that's not what well, I yeah, believe. Yeah. That's this how you... what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, 1 and two. Uh huh. It tells us this, brother. But I've heard those prophecies have already been fulfilled in, in different parts of history. Nothing have been fulfilled until our God come back. And come back. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people say the commandments are done away with. A lot of oh no, they're not done away with, but they've been fulfilled by, by the Messiah. No, they haven't been fulfilled. This is what we have to fulfill right here in Acts chapter three and eighteen, brother. See, that's what messes a lot of people up, man. He hasn't came back. He only came to fulfill what law? What law did he come back to fulfill? That's five sets of laws. Um, you got the uh, law, moral, the civil law, the moral, um, ceremonial, the ceremonial, the law, and the moral, and the uh, uh, sacrificial. Mm -hmm. Which law did he come back to fulfill? Because he only came back to fulfill one law. I see what you're saying. He came back to fulfill the sacrificial law. Well, now if we go out and sin, we ain't got to go out and kill no we, turtle we, dove. Yeah, we ain't got to go out and do all this. Now. He became the perfect sacrifice when his father sent him to die for the sins of the Israelites, not for the whole world. Like they be saying that, oh, God is not a respecter of person. That's Christianity. But the Bible tells us something totally different. I, I, I know. A, um, I know Jesus said he came back for, for, for the lost sheep of Israel. I know he said that. Um, this is what he said, right, here, brother? But um, this is what he said. What about the Gentiles? Though? You know who? There's two sets of Gentiles. There are two kinds of Gentiles. There are the Gentiles that are in the flesh, and there are the Gentiles that became a Gentile in a Gentile state of mind. Let me show you. See, I should have brought my other Bible that got yeah. the, that got the all that in it. See, yeah. the brother, I'm gonna show you what is it? Oh, this is the um, apocryphal. Apoc this is what the Gentiles are. So, um, so, so, so this is like the Book of Enoch, like it didn't make the Bible. No, e Enoch is about dreams, wizardry, and all that uh -huh. crazy kind of stuff. We don't Enoch, man. That ain't. <laughs> you know, and so we're gonna look at uh six, right. chapter six. You know, because man, you need to get with us, bro, because you come out here bold to be on. You know what I'm saying? This yeah, is what I just believe. I, I just believe Jesus can save everybody because uh, because that's the word of God teaches. He teaches that He came. The Bible said any anyone who calls on the name Lord shall be saved. You got to look at it like this here, my brother. Mm -hmm. When this Bible was first written, who was it written for? Uh, it was written. Who did Moses come out? What did Moses do when he went up there for forty days and forty nights with Yahweh to get what? Uh, he, he he got the law. The Ten Who did he give them to? He, he, he gave them to the Israelites. But that was but that was before, but that was before um that was back when there was a bunch of Nephilim running around. God change? No, he don't change. He don't okay, change. Okay, because in the book of uh, uh uh the in the book of Malachi three and six, mm -hmm. he said, "I'm the Lord I'm God. God. I, I change, change not." Mm -hmm. And then you can go and look at the precept to that. In Hebrews 13 and 8. Mm -hmm. the same yesterday okay. and then I'm not saying the Israelites are done away with, but I believe that God is dealing still like he still has to promise to feel like we talked about to the Israelites. But you have the church still. You get what I'm saying? The time of Jacob. Who is the church? The churches are are, are, are those who put their faith in, in the Messiah. Who are the saints? Are the Israelites, brother? From Genesis to Revelation, brother, he's not talking to anybody but the Israelites. I stake my life on this. I stake my life you, on this. You on said this in, um, in, in, in what books? What? What are you talking about? We were talking about the Bible. Yeah. You said you said Genesis to Revelation. He's talking to the Israelites. But what about um, Romans to Philemon, where, where, where he addressed the church in like, Rome? Um, what church was he addressed? He he addressed uh, the church of Ephesus. Who are the, who were the Ephesians? <laughs> who were the Ephesians, brother? Um, they were a tribe of people, but back oh, then, who but, were the Ephesians, brother? But back then they, they were the Israelites, man. But, Every book that Paul is written, see, this is what's happened. 
Peter was dealing with the southern kings, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And Paul, when they were saying that he had this thorn in his side, all of this stuff, because he was dealing with the northern king. Do you know who the northern kingdom is? Yeah. Who? Japheth. No. Oh, sure. He came from the, um, because, because the tribe, um, one well, not the tribe, but, but the sons of Japheth, they came from the north. Um, when you get home tonight, Talk this evening, I want you to go to the book of First Kings. I want you to start at chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Let you know who the Lord is. Because they walk around amongst you every day, brother. Every day they walk around amongst you. But I'm going to show you something. When you hollering about the Jews. We were the Jews, but we weren't allowed to say we were Jews because we did it. That was during the time of Keith and the mm -hmm. Now, all that stuff, brother. I'm going to show you, man. Because, you know, like I say, you be out here, man, not seeing you, man. You be out here bold for God, man. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah, and I, I love I you for that, my brother. And, 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 and I like that about you because you're a young brother. How are you? I'm only 20. See? You're a young brother, man. You know, my son, 22, he be out here, man. Mm -hmm. See, you're a young brother, man, and, and you need to come, you need to get into the, this truth. Not Christianity, because that's what you're telling me right now. Mm -hmm. And you know what Christianity is, right? Uh, Christianity is following Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Christianity is a man made doc doc Christians. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Although in 11, Acts 11 and 23. Well, yeah, I'm, well, 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 I don't even like to call myself. There's a um, difference between um, being Christianity because that's what they say in the church. Yeah, I know, because then you got Roman Catholicism and a bunch of different. Christianity of is a man made doctrine. The white man made that. But the one that followed, the Havashah, because who was the first one that followed him? Who was the first one that followed Jesus? That's right. Um. God. You got a lot of you got to you know you know man. See, you got to know this Bible, brother. You got to know where to go and find this stuff because people are gonna yeah, stop you. And then you know you out here bringing the word of God. It's gonna be people that come out and they're gonna so-called Christian folks. Mm -hmm. They gonna know the scripture. They are gonna try to test you. Mm -hmm. Then they are gonna be like, see, I told you. See, mm -hmm. you got to study like the children of the Son of God. Bring it back. Study to show yourself approved. You see what I'm saying? And so when we look at this Bible. We got to look at this Bible. This is your history. Mm -hmm. it's not the book in your school. Shalom, my brother. Not the book in your school. This right here is your history book. It tells you everything about you. But what it is, when doing slavery, they took this book, they rent it in pieces, and they started tearing this book up. See what I'm saying? Because what? That's why they took this right here out of the Bible. Because they have a lot of feast days here. See what I'm saying? What's the feast day that they serve in America? Christmas, Christmas uh, Thanksgiving, pagan, pagan. So pagan. Fourth of pagan. July, and all that stuff. All those are pagan holidays. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But what Definitely. you need to do, this is what needs to be done. Right here. I'm going to show you about the Northern Kingdom. This is who they are right here. I'm going to show you. Because it's important, man, that you have to know this truth. And this truth, you got to preach this truth. Because God is looking up at you now because what? Because he got his eyes on you, bro. Look at that. You oh, yeah, I, see, yeah I, saw that. I saw that before. Okay, this is the 12 tribes right here. Of all that can qualify themselves for the king. But these but, right here, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi uh -huh. is the southern king. Right. What's your dad? He a so-called black man? Yeah. He's from the tribe Probably of Judah. Judah. All the rest of them are the northern kingdom. After Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, those are the, the northern kingdom. Those are the ones that went astray and they became, God took his hands off of them because they started serving in idolatry and everything. These are the ones, my brother. You seen this one? No, I haven't seen that one. Look at the top. What did the, what did the top one say? It said Edom. Oh, 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 Israel. All the rest of them. How many nations what did God create? Um, nations or tribes of Israel? Nations. nations. Nations of people. Um, I'm not sure. Back up. 18. God is racist. He, he created 18 nations of people, brother. But he only chose one. These are the 18 nations that he chose. But he only chose one. He chose us. All the rest of them, even the African, the Ethiopian, and all that, that is not our people. The African and the Arab, 
sold us to the white man. So you don't believe? Uh, so you don't believe he could be saved? Oh no! But, but what about um? What about when um? What's his name? Um, one of the one of the apostles he he, he baptized uh, a, a Ethiopian and 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 Acts. You got to know what's happening. You know, you're asking some good questions, but I'm gonna show you about this. Jesus? Zechariah. It says, talking about the Ethiopians, what he's going to do to the Ethiopians. They're going to die with the sword. So he got a nice hide. I like it. It's about the last Straight up stage. America, man. I love it, man. You're a soldier. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my God, man. I respect firefighters a lot, man. Joseph to do with Mary and the baby when they were in Israel and when they was up on the Roman persecution. Oh yeah, yeah, you talking about the flee. No, the flee where? Um, to, uh, to, to, uh, to Egypt. He should come to Egypt. It's, it's a mountain. Okay. to flee to Egypt, right? When they flee to Egypt, why did he tell them to go to, to Egypt? Why didn't he tell them to go to some other land? He told them to go to Egypt because they were dead. They were the same people. That's something to think about. And so, and so we have to, like I say, man, we, you know, we teach this word, man. We, you know, we come out and talk to our brothers and our sisters, man, and try to enlighten them to what it is that they need to be doing, man. Because when that day comes, there's not going to be any excuses. There's not going to be any B students. There's only going to be a student. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be no B student. I'm gonna find this. But let me show you, because you asked me a question about the, the Gentiles. Yeah. Okay. You, do you have one of these? Uh, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm scared to read anything outside of the Word, of, um, outside of Bible, because I don't. You know what? I have the Bible, and you know what? Some told me, wait, but I took it out. It has one book. This ain't your problem. See, they took this out. Because this is what? Right. This is some other Greek days. And this is the time of the Greeks. When we were in the Greek captivity. How many captivities have we been in? Um, I know we're at the last one, right? We, we, the American you're, captivity you're referring, is the last one. You're referring to the statue of, um, of Daniel, right? We are in, we have up on seven captivities. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And this is the last captivity right here. And the Greek, what, was it the Greek in like, what, like 300 years after the Messiah? The Greeks. They call them the Grecians. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what the Bible says, brother, when it's talking about who the Jews were and who the Gentiles. It says, For the temple was filled with riots and rebellion by the Gentiles, who died with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy place, and besides that, brought in things that were not lawful. If, you know, that's what these people were doing. Mm -hmm. And say the the altar also was filled with the same things which the law forbid. Because we talk they're talking about the Sabbath now. 